In the previous clip, we learned how to create selection menu for our robots. In this clip, we want to learn how we can optimize our scene, our level, and our project for Oculus Quest headsets. All right. In this step, we want to learn some uh, important and useful issues for optimization the scene for the Oculus Quest headset. For example, the first one, an important one, is uh, the quality of objects and textures in our scene. For example, we have two parts uh, of objects. For example, this one is our important object and our UGB, but this object is not important. This one, or all of them. So we can say, okay, uh, we can decrease the quality of texture and quality of 3D model of this object. It helps us to improve the frame rate and performance of our simulator. For doing that, we have to click on our object and go here. In this part, we can see all the textures of our 3D model. So we can click on any texture we want. Uh, and in here, in the inspector, we can see the textures settings and uh, resolution. For example, in here the max size is 2048. It is too much. So we can decrease it to, for example, 128. And also compression. Compression can be, for example, low quality. And apply. After apply, all the objects in our scene which using this texture decreasing the quality of it. Look at this. It has been done. And for example, we can do the same for all of them. All the textures in our scene can be 128 and the compression low quality. Apply. After this loading, we will see the difference between the uh, textures quality of our scene. This method helps us to uh, increase the amount of objects in our scene but uh, keep the frame rate best for the Oculus Quest. Great. Okay. Another solution for uh, improve our uh, performance is decrease the amount of objects in our scene. For example, this object has been made by several objects. Look at this. It's too much. You can download the 3D model of this object uh, from the another websites or you can make it by yourself by 3D design 3D, uh, softwares such as 3D Max, Blender uh, or other uh, softwares for 3D design and make it uh, much more optimized for the uh, Oculus Quest and Android platform. Or even you can remove some useless objects from it. For example, in here, as you can see, it is an object. And this is an object as well. And you can say, okay, disable this one. And for example, disable this one. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> or I don't know. The back of it. Or anything you want. For example, 
is a small table. For doing that, we can uh, compress the mesh of our objects as well. For doing that, we need to click on here, for example. It is the room. It is our room 3D model with all the objects as a child of it. So we can say, okay, mesh compression is off. You can say high in the highest level of compression once you play and uh, uh, click on apply you will see the difference look at this it has been curved or decreased the amount of polygons in here you can see the amounts of polygons in here so in this view you can understand which objects is very high uh, for our performance so you can decide about the objects in your scene for example it is very complicated object so you can remove it or replace any objects in your scene with the optimized 3D models which you have made or downloaded. Okay, another solution for optimize your, uh, your performance is you can come to the edit, the project settings. In here, you can see the quality. In the quality, you can see the uh, graphic graphics quality of your level ultra very high high medium low and very low in here you can select it in any option you want for example on medium something and also you can uh, modify the settings as uh, as you want for example decrease the texture quality in here you can say half resolution quarter resolution eighth resolution you can say half resolution look at this one this part once you press full and eight just cartoony something but half half I think enough for us and in here uh, for example, we can uh, we say anisotropic texture, we don't need it, disable. And in here, because we don't have any shadows in our scene, we will say disable shadow. Okay. And because we don't have any uh, character in our scene, so we don't have any skeleton, we will say mm, keep it on two bones. However, uh, maybe once you press on two bones, you will have a problem with your hand tracking. And so I propose to keep it on unlimited. In here we sync count, we can say, okay, don't sync. And uh, because we don't have any particle systems in our scene, we will keep it on 16. Perfect. Also in the time manager, uh, it helps it helps us to management the um, time budget of uh, our function runnings. For example, in here, once you say change to zero point zero one, uh, all the functions of the uh, void update, void fixed update, and void late update will working by two times, but uh, less accurate than 0 0.02. It depends to your decision to want to keep the accuracy and less performance or more performance and less accuracy. However, uh, um, accuracy will not hit a lot, but uh, maybe, maybe you will have some small, 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 tiny mistakes. Anyway, you can change the maximum allowed time steps from 0 0.33333 to 1. 
the maximum of it. So it helps you to improve the performance. Perfect. And also you can uh, uh, change the direction lights mode or other lights in your scene from real time to mixed or baked. And after that you can uh, bake your lighting of your environment however it is very complicated settings and you can find out the solution how to uh, bake your uh, lighting the scene anyway you can change that to the mixed and finally uh, you can optimize your uh, scripts for example in the quadcopter we have four propellers uh, which are rotating around of the itself uh, themselves and uh, it's using and they using uh, they are using void update it's not optimized at all and uh, especially if you if we use the optima and uh, the prop with 25 we can for better seeing that we can uh, select some uh, beautiful textures for Roto. Here in textures, go to the uh, Google, and we will say, okay, Roto transparent, yeah. Or maybe in here we can find out the best one. It seems not. Or maybe I have to uh, choose in helicopter. Ah. This one, I found. But it is not transparent. But anyway, uh, if I can find out the, another one, I can use it. But search. No, it seems we have to use only that one. Okay, we can use it for our test. So you can use the same method. I want to explain the method, not the final one. So we'll say rotor, okay. And in the texture, I will say import new assets. From the desktop and import rotor. Perfect. And change it to a spread. No, no, um, Perfect. And we will say uh, create, uh, no, in one of them. For example, the red one. Uh, disable the main body and create a quad without any mesh colliding. Okay, empty. And set the texture of it for this one. If it was transparent, it was very beautiful, but because right now I don't have any transparent image we can keep it by this one but you can understand uh, what i'm saying so because it's uh, an image with the rotating we will say okay only by five not 25 
change to quad cutter I can do this one look at this it's very optimized than uh, this one however as you can see the performance right now is very better in the past we had a low frame rate once they rotating but right now it's perfect it is perfect it's very better than before the frame rate is 74 75 80 it's good great all right the final part is once you we want to create an object and we want to add a collider it's better to add the box collider and don't use the mesh colliders mesh colliders eating the performance so it's better to don't use any mesh collider in your scene all right let's go to the next step